So now in the continuation of the antimycobacterial drugs, now let me take up the treatment of leprosy, right? That is anti-leprotic drugs. So leprosy is the disease which is caused by mycobacterium leprae, right? It is the disease which is caused by mycobacterium leprae. Now, the drugs which are used in the treatment of the leprosy, they include rifampicin. This rifampicin is also a first-line anti-tubercular drug. And along with that, the other drugs include dapsone, clofazamine, ethionamide, ofloxacin, minocyclin and clarithromycin. So, these are all the drugs which are used in the treatment of leprosy. Now, let me take up the individual drugs that is dapsone. Right, let me take up the individual drug that is dapsone. Now, if you see the dapsone, remember it is a leprostatic drug. Right, it is a leprostatic drug in the sense it will not kill the mycobacterium leprae but it will suppress the growth of the mycobacterium leprae. And if you take the mechanism of action, right, mechanism of action is almost similar to that of sulfonamides. Right, similar to that of sulfonamides. Now, so if you see the mechanism of action of sulfonamides, what we have discussed is, this particular sulfonamides, they will inhibit the enzyme dihydropterate synthase, that is folate synthase. Now, by inhibiting this particular dihydropterate synthase, that is folate synthase, the folic acid synthesis will be inhibited. So, that is what is the mechanism of action of your, the dapsone, which is similar to that of the sulfonamides. So, now if you see the metabolism of these particular drugs. Now if you take this particular dapsone, dapsone is metabolized by acetylation. Right, it is metabolized by acetylation. Okay, that is one important point. Next. The other important point is that this particular dapsone, it undergoes, right, it undergoes enterohepatic circulation. Right, it undergoes enterohepatic circulation. Next, the other important point regarding the dapsone is this, this particular dapsone, it is associated with certain adverse effects. Now, the adverse effects of the dapsone, they include gastrointestinal irritation, right, they will cause gastrointestinal irritation, they will also cause fever, right, they will also cause the skin rash and next it is also associated with methemoglobinemia. Right, also associated with methemoglobinemia. Now, apart from this particular methemoglobinemia, remember this dapsone will also cause hemolysis in G6PD deficiency patients. Right, hemolysis in G6PD deficient patients. Alright, so these are the adverse effects associated with the dapsone. Now, remember the most common adverse effect with the dapsone is the hemolytic anemia and this will be asked as a multiple choice question. So, the most common adverse effect is the hemolytic anemia. Alright, so hemolytic anemia is the most common adverse effects of dapsone. Now, this particular dapsone, it can also cause what is called as the sulfone syndrome, right? It will also cause what is called as the sulfone syndrome, 
and this sulfone syndrome this is what is called as DDS now what is this sulfone syndrome now it can cause sulfone syndrome that is also called as infectious mononucleosis like syndrome right that is also called as infectious mononucleosis like syndrome now so this rhapson can cause sulfone syndrome that is also called as the infectious mononucleosis like syndrome so this particular sulfone syndrome remember this is one of the hypersensitivity reactions right this is one of the hypersensitivity reactions associated with this particular dapson and with this hypersensitivity reaction the individual can have fever the individual can have rash the individual can also have lymphadenopathy right lymphadenopathy and as well as lymphocytosis all right as well as lymphocytosis so these are the hypersensitivity reactions associated with this particular sulfone syndrome and which is caused by dapson now now in this particular dapson we have a repository form that means this particular repository form of dapson is injected in the intramuscularly a single intramuscular injection will maintain the levels of the dapson up to 3 months and that name of that repository form is called as the acidopsone right the name of this particular repository form is called acidopsone so acidopsone is a repository form all right acidopsone is a repository form of dapsone and this is given as a single intramuscular injection right this is given as single intramuscular injection and this particular acidapsone it will maintain right this acidapsone single intramuscular injection maintains the inhibitory levels of dapsone in the tissues for up to 3 months right so inhibitory levels of dapsone in tissues right in tissues up to 3 months now the another point is this particular dapsone is also an alternative drug for the treatment of pneumocystis gyrovaci infection in hiv patients right this dapsone is also an alternative drug for case of pneumocystis carney pneumonia or pneumocystis gyrovaci pneumonia in hiv infected individuals right in hiv infected individuals and last point is that this particular dapsone it is the drug of choice for the treatment of dermatitis herpetiformis right it is a drug of choice for dermatitis herpetiformis okay so this is completely about the discussion on the dapsone so let me shortly revise this particular dapsone remember this dapsone is one of the leprostatic drugs and it is related to the sulfonamides with similar mechanism of action and it is metabolized by acetylation and undergoes enterohepatic circulation and the adverse effects if you see it can cause gastrointestinal irritation fever skin rash methemoglobinemia hemolysis in g6pd deficient patients and the most common adverse effect associated with the dapsone is the hemolytic anemia and this dapsone can also cause the sulfone syndrome that is also called as the infectious mononucleosis like syndrome then we have a repository form which is called as acidapsone 
Acidapsone is a repository form of dapsone whose single intramuscular injection maintains the inhibitory levels of dapsone in the tissues for up to 3 months. Next, dapsone is also an alternative drug for the treatment of pneumocystis gerovaceae infection in HIV affected patients. And it is the drug of choice for the treatment of dermatitis herpetiformis.